Statue Hunter 75 here with a awesome piece from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. It's the Street Fighter uh, Ryu collectible statue. This is the second um, statue, quarter scale statue that Pop Culture Shock Collectibles has made of Re the character Ryu from Street Fighter. Um, this is pretty much based on Street Fighter V, I believe. It looks very much like Ryu from Street Fighter V or Street Fighter IV or Ultra Street Fighter IV. So, um, I just have to say I'm blown away. I'm very happy with it. And wow, what a week for Street Fighter, you know, or a month for Street Fighter. Last week, I think, or a couple weeks ago, the game came out Street Fighter V. And then got the uh, Ryu fight stick for it. And and now, uh, well, then got the Goken statue from Street Fighter. And now this the second version of Ryu and it is epic I am nothing but pleased with this and I'm recording this on my new phone iPhone 6s plus which now has a 12 megapixel pixel character uh, I can't even talk I'm so excited a 12 megapixel camera so the old one had an 8 megapixel camera so hopefully it looks even better in all its HD gloriousness but this is Street Fighter Ryu collectible statue <laughs> I'm gonna try and Satu Suken exclusive. <laughs> I know everyone's going to correct me <laughs> on my uh, Japanese. Uh, but that's the side of the box. That's the top of the box. That's the back of the box. If you want to read the bio, there's Pop Culture's logo, the Twitter, their Facebook, all their fun social media contact possibilities. <laughs> and uh, before I get to the stats, a little bit of info about the piece. And of course, the game is made by Capcom. It's made in China. Blah blah blah. But let's uh, let's read Ryu stats. If you want to pause it and read it, there you go. Wow, 1964. He's a lot older than me. I didn't know that. And there is his bio. If you want to pause it for a brief moment and read it. But that's all I'm going to spend on the box. Uh, the numbers on the bottom of the box too. Well, let me just show you because some people. Are so anal and they have to see that number 38 out of uh, edition of 300 that's what it says on the bottom of the box um now let's look at the certificate of authenticity that it comes with <clears throat> sorry i got a bit of a cold there you see ryu collectible statue and satosuken exclusive Signed and autographed by the man, Jerry Macaluso, president of Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. And there you see it's number 38 out of 300, the Certificate of Authenticity. So that's it. Came in a little baggy. I got that in the back, but I already have it in a protective covering. Let's just get to this piece of magnificence. Let me pull him a little closer to us. Now, for these new Street Fighter V statues... I'm calling them Street Fighter V statues. Jerry used to have the traditional oval black base. It was just a plain black wall on the side of the base and the top. So it was like same on the top, flat black. Side was flat black. So with these new statues, like I said, I'll call them the Street Fighter V statues or the second edition or whatever you want to call them. But it has this cool like, I don't know, hieroglyphic or whatever design all the way around and it looks really really cool very happy with that is he all the way in yeah he's all the way in okay sorry just adjusting there and they even improved on like the anatomy the feet look way more realistic like instead of big cartoony blocky feet um you know they look like actual human toes and you know there's some there's still some car cartooniness to it if that's a word because it is based on a you know a video game but but it looks a little bit more realistic look at the detail on like the toenails and everything right down to the little pinky nail nice job pop culture so here's two of the heads on the right would be like the street fighter 4 ultra street fighter 5 head and then on the left is more like a you know Street Fighter Alpha type head or or a, a older Street Fighter more cartoony head. I'm not too much a fan of that. They they all three of them look great. Um, the one I think I'm going to display them with is the angry 
head, which I have on them right now, which just looks great. Look at the detail in the teeth. Wow. Pretty nice detail in there, the glossiness on the lips, the eyebrows, the eyes. Everything looks great. They did a great job on this guy. I love the spiky hair with the modern Street Fighter look. I like it very much. And, and they got every little spike in there, detail. They're nice and you know prickly and everything. Almost like scary like it might break, but it, it didn't. Um, <clears throat> Also, let me, uh, let me just get this piece of lint off his costume. I'll show you his face while I pick that off. It's just a piece of lint. Um, <clears throat> the bandana on the first Ryu was slightly thicker and had wire for posability. This one does not, which kind of, it was better on the older one. But you know what? The wire poked through on some of them, so this is just fine and it looks real and it's still fabric so it's mixed media the costume the gi is amazing some people were complaining i'm telling you these noobs that just start buying statues and think that they know what they're talking about i don't know whatever i'm not even gonna rant but um you know they're like oh it's not white and blah 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 it's it's worn, it's battle damaged, it's weathered, it's got a little yellowing to it, it's perfect. I mean, the gi looks awesome. There is a wire here in this for posability, which is cool. Um, and it's all frayed the way it should be. Look at the veins on the arm, the musculature, perfect. Um, oh, also, you know, you can, can't even see the separation of the head until you turn it like that. Of course, like, you have to have a line somewhere when something comes off, so... But just to show you, it's a magnet. There you see the magnet. And if you wanted to see all three heads kind of together, there you have it. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the one there on the far left. My second favorite would probably be that, and then that would be my third choice. So let's put this guy's head back on. And it's a nice firm magnet that attaches. It's perfect. You can't even see the separation. It looks beautiful. I love how the bandana falls on the, you know, it naturally falls. It looks cool. It looks perfect. The design on his gloves from the new modern Street Fighter look, which is perfect. I mean, the definition on these gloves, each glove is a magnet too. But just to show you, like, the, the definition and the wrinkles in the leather, it looks like real leather. The shading. Did a great job all around. Look at the fingernails, even the different tone in the fingernails and the glossiness to them. They, man, they, they're just getting better and better. It's amazing. And the cool thing about Pop Culture Shock, you know, let's hope it stays this way, but I mean, inflation, everything happens. But, you know, at least they're maintaining their price point, unlike all these other companies that are just going up and up and ridiculous. I mean, eventually you're not going to be able to afford these premium format statues when, when they start to cost like thousands of dollars it's just ridiculous like sideshow really needs to pump the brakes and stop trying to be like xm xm it, i think it was a flash in the pan i don't know the black bolt looks okay but some of their stuff man for all that money it's just crazy i don't know that's just my opinion i know all the xm fanboys are gonna be like oh my god what are you talking about anyway whatever that's just my opinion i mean these pop culture shock statues are still at come you know coming in retail around like with the discount around like 340 you know the new ken just went up um and i was i was lucky enough to secure a, a pink exclusive and uh you know and the and the um the regular red and it's a stack and whatever you call it <laughs> addition so and, the, and those were you know pay up front 340 you know which is, which is a pretty fair price considering the other statue companies are starting to get upwards of 550 dollars like sideshow and you know, XM, I don't even want to talk about how high they are, so it's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I seem to be going on random rants in this video, but let's get back to how awesome this guy looks. The frailing of the bottom of the gi, too, looks just awesome. The, the tone of the yellows and whites, I hope it's showing up on camera, but it just looks really cool. Like, you know, you went through the dirt and stuff in a fight. It just looks awesome. It looks perfect. They didn't, they didn't spare any expense on this. They're getting better and better with their statues, and I'm a very happy customer. 
I'm going to open and review the uh, battle damage exclusive as well. The, I, I don't have the word in front of me, but I think it's Kotakai or something like that. Um, that version, I will be reviewing that soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Ryu. Once again, this is the Ryu version 2 Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, Collectible Statue, and Satsuken Exclusive. And it's number 38 of 300. Alright guys, thanks for watching.